Hey, let's talk about your indicator templates. Check out our mouse here at the top. We click and now we can quickly apply any indicator template we want to our chart just with a simple click. And look how fast it loads. And it's as simple as that. Now, the indicator templates that you see here are actually preset. So we're going to show you how to create your own indicator template. So let's remove every indicator on this chart. We're clicking the X to remove them. Now, why don't we say we go to a new chart? And in this example, why don't we go to a chart of Amazon? And what we're going to do is create our own indicator template. These were some drawings we had previously drawn. Let's delete that. It was from another video. So what we're going to do is add some indicators. So let's first add a moving average, but let's add two moving averages. So we just click twice, one, two. So what we're doing is we're building our chart with the indicators we want. So we want two moving averages. Now let's adjust these. We want a 200 day moving average. So length is 200. It's a daily chart, so 200 days. Let's go to style. And of course, let's make this line a little thicker. We can keep it at blue, or maybe to match our template, we should go with more of a lighter blue to match our chart background. Now for the second moving average, you can see it here. Let's make this a little shorter. This color works for us. Let's make it thicker. And if the other one was 200, we want 50 on this one. So we sort of have this long moving average and a shorter moving average. What else do we want on this chart? Well. We also want to add volume, so we're going to add volume. Volume is really important because it shows us how many shares traded on each specific day. In this case, it's daily, so each bar represents a day of trading volume. We also want to add some volume profiles, visible range. So it's going to dynamically adjust according to the chart we're looking at. So we zoom out and it adjusts. So we also want that, and to us, this We'll make some adjustments to match our chart a little bit better. Why don't we move the up volume to maybe just a little bit of a lighter blue and this down volume to a little bit of a lighter yellow. And we'll do the same here for this value up area and this value down area because what we are doing is we just want this to match our chart more. This is going to be our new indicator template. Okay, so we have volume. So this tells us at the bottom how much trading volume happened at each specific day because it's a daily chart. We have volume profile. So now we see how much volume occurred at each specific price. Now we also have two moving averages. We have a 50 day moving average, this teal line, and a 200 day moving average, this blue line. So we are smoothing out price. We see how much trading volume is occurring by the day and at each price level. And this is an indicator template we want to apply to any chart. So watch this. We go to templates, save indicator template. Now we can give this indicator template a name. What should we call this? Let's call this smooth moving average and volume because that is what we charted, right? We have two moving averages. We were trying to smooth price out and then we have two ways to measure volume, volume profile and regular volume by the specific day. Okay, now some really cool things here. If we check remember symbol, this indicator template will remember that we saved this on Amazon. So every single time we load up this indicator template, it will start on Amazon, but we actually do not want that. Remember interval, now this is important because we do want this indicator template to remember that we are saved on a daily chart. This template was built to be on a daily chart, so we are going to check this box. Now if you had this set to 30 minutes, if you had this set to a week, to a month, to an hour, well, just make sure this box is checked so that your indicator template is always saved that way. Now it's gonna show you we have moving averages too, so two moving averages, volume, Volume profile visible range. Here are, our, here are our indicators. Click save. We've now saved it. Now check this out. This is where things get fun. So now we could even bounce around asset classes. If we go to the Euro USD, here it is. Here's our indicator template. And let's say by accident we went to a chart of Tesla. And so we're on this chart of Tesla and we go to templates. And let's say that we accidentally, uh, you know, we, we removed everything by accident. 
So, you know, here we are on a chart of Tesla and we've moved everything. But we love our indicator template. We want to apply it to any chart. Well, we go up to our templates and look at this. It's saved right here. We click, instantly applies. And we can just dance around the chart. We can go to any asset classes. We, asset class. We can do equities, Forex. If we wanted to do crypto, we could go to crypto. That same indicator template will apply immediately. So as you see here, we've been bouncing around. We'll just do a few more examples so that you fully understand what we're doing and how it's following us. So we could even do gold. So why don't we do gold futures? And here's gold futures. We've had some other drawings on here. Why don't we do, how about another one like um, crude oil? So we could even do crude oil. Go to crude oil. And this indicator template is just following us around wherever we go. So this is really, really helpful for analyzing any chart that you're looking at. If you're building a watch list and want to scan through it, you could do this. Now, you can have all of your indicator templates saved here as well. So say you want to look at one asset class with one indicator template, and then when you move between asset classes, you could very quickly go to your templates and then apply a new indicator template just like that. So this is really important. Get started with your indicator templates. It will make your life so much easier and it also is such a fast way to apply these indicators to any chart. So it speeds up your process, your research. It makes you more consistent. This is definitely something you want to get started with. And one really cool thing we want to show you is, I don't know if you noticed, but we clicked this favorite icon just 20 seconds ago. And if you look, a little S appears. So watch what happens when we click this S. There is our indicator template that we created at the start of this video. And if you favorite this volume in RSI, you can actually see right here, V. This V now appears for volume and RSI. We're going to remove this though for now. So there's the S for the smooth moving average and volume indicator template we created. And all we have to do now is click it. It's right at the top of our chart. So if anything ever gets lost, for example, let's say we accidentally deleted everything or we switched charts, we logged off, we logged back in uh, and we just want to get back to where we, where we left off. We want to keep our same indicator template. Well, look at this S right here at the top. Click it. So this is how your indicator templates can be used. We super, super believe that you should get started with this if you're not already. Like we said, it's just going to save you so much time. It saves fast and it's all right here. And also, if you're not sure how to get started with indicator templates, well, open up your chart and click templates. There are examples here. So you can try some of these really cool examples. This moving average ribbon is, for example, just something really cool to have fun with. It shows you different exponential moving averages meant to gauge trend and momentum, and they're color-coded to give you this feel of, a, of, of momentum, you know, where one color is stronger than the other, and it's supposed to show you that the trend is intact or if it's broken, and you can use this however you want. But the key is click templates at the top of your chart and have some fun.